YouTube. Good to be back. Busting y'all down with another video, man. So today, I uh, need to get gas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a mix. I'm gonna do two gallons of E85 and then the rest of it I'm gonna do 93 octane. Right now I'm, at, I'm about a quarter of a tank of gas at 93. My car has actually been sitting for like a solid like week, week and a half while I was uh, out in Georgia. So figured today's Friday, might as well get some gas for the weekend. You know, shenanigans are gonna happen in the uh, next couple of days here. So I need to be prepared. Uh, but plus, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of guys I've seen talk about, um, you know, E85 specifically for, you know, the Mark 7 GTI, like, should you run it? Is it safe? And I've seen a lot of people say that, yeah, you can run at least two gallons, um, especially while tuned. I know there are specific tuners out there that have kind of dabbled in the E85. And um, the biggest issue is running out of, um, you know, fueling with our injectors. So with E85, you have to run a little bit of extra fuel, and I say a little bit, you have to run a lot of extra fuel to kind of compensate, but the benefits are that you can run more timing, uh, more boost, and then the E85 itself, it helps cool, you know, the cylinders down. So there's a lot of benefits to it, and that's why a lot of people have been like, can I get an E85 only tune, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So unfortunately right now, you can't just go straight E85. The car's not really set up for it, but you can do a mix, and get some of the benefits. Now, I've, I've done this before, and um, it's noticeable. Uh, the There's not really a, a lot of lag, you know, in the car itself, but there is some present. When I run a little bit of mix of E85, that lag pretty much goes away, like totally goes away. Uh, and that's really, you don't really feel too much of a, a power benefit. It's just that the response from the engine is a whole lot, like it's like right there. And then I feel a little bit more in the top end, but that's kind of negligible. I really doubt that, that it's really doing anything up top, but what I really care about is just that instant throttle response. So I'm gonna do that today, do that mix, get it going. I did exactly two gallons of the E85, 420 baby. So I'm gonna put in the rest straight 93, and get it going. Why is 93 so expensive now? Shit. I could do any better than what that last clip showed you man so I think it tells the whole story so if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe and share y'all have a good day I'm out